welcome back, Base Channel friends, to day six of Walktober. We're checking out the Dunlop John Petrucci JP95 Crybaby Wah. Before we get into the specs, I just wanted to say that you might be thinking, how am I, a bass player, going to get along with a wah pedal that was designed for the lead guitarist from Dream Theater? Well, I gotta tell you, it's a very versatile pedal. There's a whole bunch of different settings to get into, and I'm pretty sure almost everybody will be able to dial it in just right for their own liking. Here in the studio, Chris and I both were blown away by some of the tones that we were able to get once we discovered all of the different adjustments that are available on this pedal. Dunlop themselves say, whale-like prog rock shredder John Petrucci with this signature JP95 Crybaby Wah, designed with the Dunlop team and Dream Theater engineer Richard Chicky. I hope I'm not butchering that guy's name. This is a wah that, as John puts it, sounds huge and badass like an angry, screaming monster with the ultimate expressive range. It's perfect for shaping single notes or manipulating growling heavy chords. Factory set to John's personal settings, the JP95 features all the controls he used to find his crybaby voice. There's a volume to add gain, there's a Q control to shape the width of the effect, and there's a six band EQ to shape the tone of the wah sound. The six band EQ ranges from 100 hertz to 3.2 kilohertz. Want to fine tune the sound to your own preference? Just take off the bottom plate and tweak away. This wah comes in a sturdy, road-ready housing with custom smoked chrome finish and the JP Shield logo on the tread. Like always, let's see how it sounds with our control riffs, courtesy of the wiretap. So, as the Dunlop copy said, it's got a six band EQ inside this thing. So, in addition to the Q control and the volume control, like we've already seen on other Dunlop WAS, there's a whole range of sound manipulation that you can get into just by opening up the bottom and checking out the trim pots. All right, so as you can see, these are the frequencies that you can manipulate with those trim pots underneath. And with a 100 hertz pot and a 200 hertz pot, you've got some low end and some low mids that you can tweak to really, really beef up the bass tone and minimize low end loss when you've got this pedal engaged. And that smoked chrome finish looks pretty cool too. Yeah, 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 yeah
didn't even mention, when the pedal is engaged, there's blue LEDs on either side, so you don't have to guess whether your wah is on. So that's day six in the books with the John Petrucci signature wah. Big thanks again to Zounds for all the wahs that we've been checking out this month. And of course, if you want to check one out for yourself, click the links below. Like, subscribe, base channel. This is Dave. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>